वेलकम टू योर चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन गेटिंग पॉइंट्स ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेस सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट मोनोकार्प इज अ स्टूडेंट एट बर्लिन स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी ड्यू टू रिसेंट चेंजेस इन द बर्लिन एजुकेशन सिस्टम मोनोकार्प हैज टू स्टडी ओनली वन सब्जेक्ट प्रोग्रामिंग द अकेडमिक टर्म कंसिस्ट ऑफ एन डेज एंड इन ऑर्डर टू नॉट गेट एक्सपेल मोनोकार्प हैज टू अर्न एटलीस्ट थ्री पॉइंट्स ड्यूरिंग दोज एन डेज There are two ways to earn points: completing practical task and attending lesson. For each practical task, Monoka fulfills, he earns three points, and for each lesson he attends, he earns L points. So practical tasks are unlocked each week as term goes on. The first task is unlocked on day one, and can be completed on any day from one to n. Second task is unlocked on day eight, third task on day fifteen, and so on. so every task is unlocked after 7 days so every day from 1 to n there is a lesson which can be attended by monocarp and every day monocarp chooses whether to study or to rest the whole day when monocarp decides to study he attends a lesson and can complete no more than two weeks two tasks which are already unlocked and not completed yet if monocarp rests the whole day He skips a lesson and ignore task. So Monica wants to have as many day off as possible. He wants to maximize the number of days he rests. Help him calculate the maximum number of days he can rest. So here for input we are given the number of test cases and the number of days, the minimum total points Monica has to earn, the points for attending one lesson, and points for completing one task. It's guaranteed that each test. the uh, test case is possible that monocarp is not expelled and will attend all lesson and will complete all task so for each test case print one integer maximum number of days monocarp can rest without being expelled from university so for the first test case it is 1552 so we have here number of days the total tasks and the total lessons so here we have n plus 5 and lesson point is 5 and task point are 2 so here you can see that you have n is 1 and p is 5 so this is our p so as we want five points and that can be got from the lessons itself so attending one lesson at day one would give us five points but uh, we have only one day so we are left with no other day for the rest so answer is 0 and another case is 14 so in case of 14 you have two weeks so uh, you will be having two lessons and maximum points uh, two tasks i mean maximum points which you can earn from task is 10 maximum points uh maximum points you can earn from task is 5 into 10 to the power 8 and maximum points from lesson is 10 to the power 9 so here i am writing 5 into 10 to the power 8 remember so we can have one lesson and two task so if we do one lesson and two task and then another lesson then the task would be completed means we will be able to earn p number of points which is this so by doing this we spend 2 days so we are left with 12 days now let's look at another example we have 8 
वन ट्वेंटी टेन एंड ट्वेंटी तो फॉर दिस केस एज यू कैन सी वी वॉन्ट वन ट्वेंटी पॉइंट्स एंड द लेसन्स आर टेन पॉइंट्स टास्क इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट्स सो इफ यू डू ऑल द टास्क वी हैव हेयर वन टू एट मीन्स वन वीक सो ऑन डे वन वन टास्क वॉज असाइंड ऑन डे एट टू टास्क असाइंड सो मैक्सिमम यू कैन गिव टू टास्क विच मीन्स यू कैन अर्न फोर्टी पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द टास्क इफ यू अर्न फोर्टी पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द टास्क सो रिमेनिंग इज एटी पॉइंट्स एंड टू गेट एटी पॉइंट्स यू नीड टू हैव ऑल द लेसन्स सो एटी माइनस एटी विच विल बी जीरो एंड हेंस यू नीड टू गिव ऑल डेज एंड यू आर लेफ्ट विथ जीरो इन केस ऑफ हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन टेन सो इफ आई राइट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन टेन ऑन एट डे यू कैन हैव दिस टास्क डबल एंड यू कैन हैव ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फ्रॉम द टास्क एंड हेंस ओनली वन डे विल बी गिवेन एंड रेस्ट नाइन्टी नाइन डेज विल बी लेफ्ट सो हेयर द अप्रोच इज फर्स्ट यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ वीक्स एज टास्क आर एन अनलॉक्ड एवरी वीक सो फर्स्ट यू विल कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ वीक्स लेट इट बी डब्ल्यू सो हेयर द नंबर ऑफ वीक्स बी एन माइनस एन मॉड्यूल सेवन divided by सेवन so these are the number of weeks and we would be adding वन in the case if our n modulus सेवन is not equal to जीरो otherwise we will not add this one and after this we will search for the maximum number of weeks where monogar can uh, earn enough points to satisfy the condition and then uh, when we see how many weeks are there so we will take the number of weeks and calculate the points that monogar can earn in those weeks after getting the points earned we will deduct the points from the available points and hence after this we can calculate the number of days monocap need to work so when we calculate the number of days monocap need to work after that we can check if the number of days are enough and also add the remaining number of days in that which would be used for attending lessons when all the weeks are done and also when uh, you have added the lesson then you will check if any additional day is needed for completing a lesson and then that additional day would be added and finally we can get the answer and our answer final answer would be n minus the answer which we got so for the whole process which we are doing to calculate the number of days we can use a simple approach which is binary search so using binary search you can calculate the maximum number of weeks and after calculating the maximum number of weeks you can suppose maximum number of weeks is mw so half of these weeks would be our answer 
still a would be half of these week and then points earned in those weeks would be suppose t1 so if points earned is t1 so available points will be the given points let given points be small p so small p would be t minus t1 so the points are updated here now according to these points you can calculate the maximum number of working days so to calculate the maximum number of working days what you will do just take this answer and put it in maximum number of days after this we need to make sure that these points are not negative so we will take it as maximum of zero almost three so when you get maximum number of points and you get the answer you will check if any other days are remaining to complete the points and you will add the lessons because here only we have done the week calculation after that we will add the lessons once all the weeks are completed but still the points are remaining so we will add that to the answer and hence we will return n minus our answer so this whole solution will bring us the answer i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching